gentlemen, today we're giving you 10 body language tricks that you can use to get just about any girl to go after you. Most guys find that even though they're pretty good at talking to girls, there's a whole lot more to it than that. And most of the time, a major part of what's missing is a fundamental lack of body language awareness. But it's not just that some guys don't have the kind of body language that appeals to women, it's that the body language they do have makes girls bored, uninterested, or nervous. But don't worry, because today we're showing how you too can have the charismatic, confident, unignorable body language that girls are naturally attracted to, while also letting you in on one bad body language habit that turns women away. Let's get into it. Number 10. Fluid Eye Contact Even when it seems like you've got everything going for you, poorly or overly managed eye contact can sabotage your efforts and ruin your chance at talking to a girl. In other words, if you want your eye contact to tell a girl that you're cool and she can talk to you, you've got to be fluid, aka your eye contact can't look rehearsed. And luckily, we've got a trick for that. If your goal is to put a girl at ease and get her to talk to you, look her dead in the pupils, smile, and look away. You may be thinking, intelligence really? In the pupils? That's a little strong. Come on. But really, it achieves the perfect balance by doing two things. First, by targeting the pupil and smiling, as opposed to just the eyes, guarantees you make deliberate and friendly eye contact. And second, because you look away, you don't seem too intense. Give it a shot. Number 9. D-Shell Do you work at a desk, sit a lot, look at your phone often? Then listen up, because your shoulders are telling girls loud and clear that you not only have poor posture, but that you even might be a little intimidated by people around you. The worst part is that most guys are not that closed off. They just don't know that their day-to-day -day life is literally making them look like they're hiding in a shell and it's turning off women. So here's the one-step process to coming out of your shell and getting women to come after you. If you're going to be using body language to attract women, you better start paying attention to them. Just pull your shoulders back and keep them there. It'll be uncomfortable at first, but simply holding this posture will strengthen the muscles of your back and permanently create that cornerstone confidence girls look for. Number 8. Stand Bold A lot can be deduced from simply observing the way someone stands. To attract women, you've got to have a stance that signals confidence and strength. So here's how you should stand. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart. This will help you make yourself seem big. Lock your shoulders back like we mentioned earlier. Pretend almost like your shirt is still on its hanger in the closet. Keep your chin up and, as much as possible, leave your arms at your side. Put it all together and you've got a killer stance that'll not only make you stand out, but it'll get girls coming your way without you doing anything else. Number 7. Play your hand. No matter what you're doing, always seek to be viewed as open or approachable. And one easy way to do that is to have your palms exposed, even just a little bit. Just like some of the other body language tricks we're sharing with you today, showing a girl your palms is perfect for putting her at ease and getting her attention without saying anything. Now, that doesn't mean you just have to stand there with your palms out, cause yeah, that would be a little weird. But if you can work in some open palms up hand gestures as you're talking or interacting, you'll have girls naturally gravitate towards you. Number 6. Show your bias Not only do ladies like that guys check them out, but in the right time and the right place, they're looking for it and actually hoping that guys will do it. If this sounds like a nice guy problem, it is. Nice guys will go places where girls expect guys to be a little more open, a little more forward, and instead of showing their intentions, they end up looking out of place by not making a move. But here's what to do instead. First of all, remember that in certain social situations, girls want a guy to be flirtatious. After that, let the girl you're interested in see you checking her out and smile when she does. Hey guys, if you like our stuff, keep watching because we've got five more body language tricks to attract women without even talking to them. Oh, and the one thing that gets women to turn the other way. Let's keep going. Number five, fight the fidget. A guy that's constantly moving about and fidgeting will be seen as nervous and out of control. This is not the vibe you want to give off as a first impression. Because it's so widespread, a guy who makes controlled, collected movements will automatically lure more women his way. Here's how you can start practicing. Think about James Bond. Seriously, you think you see that guy fidget? Slowing down your movements conveys directness because they're more calculated and have purpose. You'll even appear more certain, and it'll show everyone around you you're more comfortable in your environment. Oh, and it also helps to create a bit of intrigue and mystery. However, just remember not to slow down too much. You don't want to be seen as the weird guy that moves in slow motion. How weird is that? Number 4. 
fix yourself. Here's another across the room trick you can do to get the girls coming your way. Ladies notice everything you do, no matter how small or insignificant you might think it is. She'll notice if you're fixing your clothes when you're around her, and doing this will easily signify that you're interested in her, simply because you're grooming yourself to ensure you stand out and appear attractive. Not only does it show her that you care about your appearance, but it also keeps her from guessing if you're interested or not. And that's the whole point! So don't be afraid to let her see you fixing your hair or straightening your shirt for her, if it comes across naturally. She can only be flattered that you're trying to look your best for her. Number 3. Space Out Even though we're evolved, we're still guided by some pretty primitive social dynamics. And one of the most ancestral behaviors is taking up space. Now, we know what you're thinking. No, not manspreading. All we're talking about here is taking up a little slice, that small bit of territory that you need to be comfortable. There are two halves to this that women notice. First, they'll notice that you did not try to dominate and take up more space than you need. As fun as that might be, 9 out of 10 women are not going to like it. The flip side, though, is that they also want to see that you keep enough space to be comfortable. And that part is extremely important. So put your keys and your phone on the table, lean back in your seat, and don't shrink into a space that's too small for you. It's not rude, and as simple as it seems, this sends a clear signal of cooperation and confidence that women can't look away from. Looking for more body language strategies to get girls coming to you? We did a whole video that you can see right here. Number 2. The Welcome Walk So it's a wonderful day, and you're taking a cool stroll through the park. You notice this guy walking, but his head is down and his hands are in his pocket. What would be your initial impression of this guy? Of course, he's stressed or overwhelmed, and more importantly, he's unapproachable. If you want to seem approachable, stick your chest out and bring your shoulders back. This posture shows women what they're most attracted to — confidence. It's that easy. If you observe just about any celebrity, rock star, or champion, you'll notice that they always walk this way. And there's no reason why it won't work for you, too. Number 1. Mirror Her Moves Let's say a woman makes her move towards you. You either hold your ground and make her nervous, or you can seize the moment and use this opportunity to send some non-verbal flirtation her way. Sound like something you'd want to do? Mirroring is a completely silent, body language-based method of getting a girl to keep looking at you. It works like this. Say you catch a girl from across the room and she fixes her hair. The chances are that you'll automatically, without thinking about it, fix something on yourself. Now, while most of mirroring will actually happen on its own, you can use it to build a sense of familiarity with a girl that will get her to come talk to you. If you want to be able to get girls to come up to you without even talking to them, there's one body language no-no that needs to be avoided — crossing your arms. You already knew not to do this, but if you're like most guys, you still end up doing it anyway. Crossed arms are such a problem because more than anything else, they send a clear signal of do not approach. When girls see them, it's almost like they have no choice but just to give up talking to you, even if they're interested. Those are 10 body language tips to get girls chasing you. Oh, and while you're here, why not check out these other powerful videos? These ones are perfect follow-ups to today's vid.